Hey everyone, so I am in the recovery room and I get to go home today. It's been seven, eight days, so about a week, a little over a week that I've been here. God, I don't even know the time, the date, anything. But I just um, wanted to update everybody. I get to go home today. Yesterday I got to take my first shower in over a week. And I got to see my kids. My kids got to come to my recovery room. That was amazing. And um, I just feel a whole lot better. Um, I got my pacemaker yesterday. I never in my life thought I'd be in these shoes, ever, <laughs> ever, ever. But I'm here and this is real and this is my new life. This is what I'm going to be living with for the rest of my life. And I'm only breathing like this because I'm slouching forward in my bed. I can breathe really good, actually. <laughs> But I, I didn't get a chance to tell you guys what exactly um, cardiac sarcoidosis is. It is tiny little white cells that form together. Um, your white cells clump together and they form. I mean, they're not um, like eating you alive, but they're there and they do scar and damage. And what cracks me up is why would your body, it's an autoimmune thing, so why would your body, your little precious white blood cells, why would they attack, well, not attack, but why would they gravitate toward your heart, the very one thing, the very one organ that keeps it alive? <laughs> I don't understand, but I, I have to do more research on that, I just want to get out of here. So I get to leave today. I'm a little pacemaker. I'll keep you guys um, up to date with that. I had a hard time accepting that. <laughs> but it is what it is. So I think you guys should know a little bit more about that. But I had exactly three diagnoses. The um, systolic heart failure the um, cardiac sarcoidosis in the left bundle branch block. They don't know what caused what. Maybe the heart failure caused um, the bundle branch block. Maybe the sarcoidosis caused the heart failure. Like my doctor said, my doctors said, we don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg. And we may never know. But that's okay. As long as I get to live to see my kids grow up, that's all that matters. So I get to go home with pills, tons of pills, and a pacemaker, and that's going to be my new life. Um, I have a team of cardiologists because I am a special case. <laughs> but it, it's okay. Because I'm okay. And there, here at UC, I was treated wonderfully. I just can't tell you how awesome everyone here is. The nurses, the doctors, the um, x-ray folks. Which, by the way, I had an x-ray just about every day. I've been poked, prodded, examined by every cardiologist, curious, and other doctors, and EKGs and ECGs and all this stuff every day. MRIs, CT, PET scans, nuclear medicine blown through my veins.
How does somebody get here? It's messed up. But this is real, it's not a dream. So if you guys are ever in the hospital, which I'm sure some of you have been in the hospital and know what it's like to be poked, prodded, tested, I'll give it to you, see. They get it done, like domino, bam, 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 bam. So you have answers that day. You have um, knowledge of what's going on. Like every test I've taken for the last seven days, which has been a lot, has been one right after the other very quickly, very fast, which I'm grateful for because I think that's what made me get to go home early because most of the time you're in the hospital, you're um, waiting for your next test next day, your next procedure the next day, after that the next day because they don't have enough appointments or spaces open or whatever. But that I will give to you see. They're pretty badass, they are. All right, I'll update you guys on the um, pacemaker later when I get home. Have a good day.